Hey guys, what the heck could Ray be up to today? <laughs> Got the one of my wheels ripped apart. So today I thought I'd uh, take apart one of the wheels for an inspection. Um, it's about time to uh, have the bearing serviced and the grease repacked and check the brakes. Uh, normally I take it into my dealer, but uh, with the with our new truck being delayed, we might not get it till near the end of October. So I don't want to have to then bring the trailer into the the dealer to have the the bearings repacked. I usually do it every about two years. They say they say actually to do it once a year in the manual, but I thought that's a little overkill. So I've been doing it every two years and been not having any problems. But this year I thought, well, let me take it apart and see what's involved. Maybe I'll. I'll do it myself. So I've taken apart this this wheel, pulled the the hub off. Um, the brakes look pretty good, actually. I'm surprised I got about you know seven years, but I don't actually use the brakes too much going downhill. Our truck's always been able to hold back the trailer pretty good with just the transmission alone. So a lot of highway driving, so I don't really you know use the the trailer brakes too much. So still, I might get away with some more more life out of these. Um, they're pretty cheap to replace. You can actually replace that whole section four bolts It comes off and you can bolt on a, a new section. I think you know, they're around less than a hundred dollars each So that might be the way to go. I'm more concerned about the bearings right now. I don't want a, a problem with that So I pulled it all apart here and cleaned things up and my spindle here looks pretty good I don't see any major scoring or anything so that's good. Um, the hub brake drum here looks pretty good too. Um, no major gouges or scoring where the pads hit or inside there. So that's good news. And here's my bearings. Um, I did find one that's not in the greatest shape. Let me see, is this one here? Um, I don't know if you can see see this but it's it's kind of some of the 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 bearings are starting to get a little pitted so I definitely think I'm going to want to replace all my bearings that was the outer bearing the inner bearing looks a lot better they were done uh, probably about a year and a half ago close to two years ago had them done at the dealer and my seal was fine and didn't, didn't blow any uh, grease through it into the brake area so it held fine but they always get replaced. So, everything looks good. So I think I'm gonna attempt it myself if you have any tips on it. Um, I'm wondering exactly what, what grease I can use. I guess I mean, there would be some kind of type of recommended, but if you guys have any really, really good uh, greases in mind, it'd be a good tip there. I was looking at my uh, front, found part numbers on my front and rear bearings and seal so I should be able to order them online but I just thought I'd give you a look at what I'm into. Um, as far as jacking um, I know they say to jack on that eye beam right there that's the proper way to jack. I actually asked my uh, dealer how they jack and they jack underneath this uh, equalizer here right so it transfers straight up into the frame but I didn't want to jack the whole thing both wheels off the ground here so I just went underneath with my uh, trolley jack there put some rubber underneath and right underneath the the u-clamps there it only takes a few inches to get the tire off and actually I've seen uh, tire people do this all the time I know the axle manufacturers say never jack on the axle but I think they're just trying to cover their butt there I've never had a problem and like I say, the tire guys, every time I've had the tires changed, they've always gone and jacked underneath the, the U-clamps there. So it is what it is, that's what I do. The proper way is to go right on the, on the I-beams there. Anyway, that's what I'm up to today with my helper Angie. She's telling me what to do, making sure I do everything right. Cheers everyone.